guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me while we head over to Home Goods and see what they have out so far for spring of 2023. So, the first portion of this, we will be just shopping around and seeing what the aisles have to hold for us. And then we will come on back and I'll share with you guys what I have picked up. So, Let's head over to Home Goods. So the first thing that caught my eye when I went into Home Goods is this gorgeous fluted concrete planter. It's super substantial. It reminds me a lot of the one that I picked up recently from Walmart, but this one is going to last for years and years to come. It is so heavy and it's gorgeous. This smaller fluted planter is the perfect dupe of the Pottery Barn version and retails for $30 while the Pottery Barn one comes in at $49.50. So this is a great, great find. They also have a really great selection of outdoor pillows and cushions. I found a really great neutral option, but I couldn't find a second one, so I opted not to grab it just because I don't want to continue to hunt to try to find one pillow. I'd rather just find two at the same time and make sure that they actually match each other. This dark gray planter was absolutely gorgeous, and so was this scalloped one. It's definitely more unique than what I've seen before, but I was really impressed by the quality and heaviness of them. Now, I'm not going to dive into Easter in this video, but they did have a really great selection of little pitchers and plates and bowls and such, so if you're looking for some seasonal stuff to add in for Easter, they have some great options. So I was really impressed with these stone boxes that they had. They're a great option to put on a nightstand for your rings or watch, or you could always put them on some open shelving to add some texture. Now, my location didn't have a lot of coffee table book options available. However, I have seen several other people really score some great coffee table books at an affordable price at their local home goods. So definitely be sure to check out what your local store has. You really might be able to score some awesome finds. So I have to say I was super impressed with the selection of accent chair seating at my home goods today. They had so many different fabrics and textures available, swivels, non-swivels. So they had really great options. They were all a little bit pricey, ranging anywhere from four to $600, depending on the chair. But I will say that they are all very unique in nature and not something that you're gonna find at every single store. So I thought they had some really great options out there. They always have a really great selection of neutral throws. This is where I found that like gauzy type of like neutral one that's on my smaller couch, but they have lots of options and great prices for them. This dough bowl was absolutely insane. It was so massive and it was so gorgeous. It was already sold, so it had a tag on it, but I absolutely loved this like off-white canister. I so wish I picked it up. And this brown salad bowl too. I'm regretting not grabbing these two items. Okay, so now we're back and I feel like Home Goods had a really, really great selection when it came to smaller like bistro outdoor seating selections and outdoor planters. They had 
so, so many different variations, no matter what your style preference was, it seems like they would have a planter for you. So I was really happy with the overall selection, especially going into the spring and summer months. Everyone's looking to spend more time outdoors and just really spruce up those spaces. So it was fun to see so many different variations of that. They also had a really great selection of like arranged greenery and such. I didn't see too many actual faux florals across two different stores that are near me. And that's always a bummer because I feel like Home Goods has some really great finds and affordable prices when it comes to that stuff. I'm still going to keep a lookout. I'm still going to pop in every once in a while to see if there's something that is calling to be in my spaces. Um, but definitely be sure to check them out. The planter selection is fantastic. The outdoor stuff is fantastic. Faux florals are great. And then they always have really great kitchenware too. Like that um, like engraved carved salad bowl that I saw, if I didn't have so many things already, I absolutely would have picked that up. And like, let's be real, maybe in a week or two, if it happens to still be there, because Home Goods is a lot like thrifting. If you see it twice, you're lucky. So if you really like something, pick it up, keep your receipt, absolutely keep your receipt. And that way you can really think about it, see it in your space, does it make sense? Does it flow well? And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, return it. But at least that way you have the option. They're just not stocked the way that like a Target is where you can show up to five and four will have it kind of thing. Home Goods is very hit or miss on if they carry something and actually restock it. So if you see it and you're like immediately saying yes to it, you should probably just pick it up. Um, but I did end up picking two things up. I found these gorgeous, gorgeous, they're a little heavy, planters that literally look exactly like those Pottery Barn ones. So I know I had shared in my Walmart shop with me video for spring. There's this super affordable one. It's like 16 inches tall and it was $25, $26. So I grabbed that one for our front porch but this is like solid concrete. This one is significantly smaller than the other one. This one was $30. But I thought that it would pair really well with that other one on the front porch, potentially. I might kind of see how that goes. If it doesn't work out in that space, we can always put it in our screened in porch just next to one of the couches that we have out there. But I know I'll use this and I know it's just one of those finds the Pottery Barn one, I can't remember how much it retails for, but this one is really reasonably priced in comparison to other ones that you can find from competitors. So I really, really love this and it is solid. I will say it doesn't have a drain hole. So it has like these reinforced screws to be like the stand for it, but there is, oh, that's my receipt right there. Let's take that out. There is no drain hole in this. So if you are planning to put an actual plant in it, bring it up a little bit to make sure there's proper drainage, get a masonry bit and drill a hole in it. Just proceed with caution on that one. Um, but I was super excited about that. And then it's matching friend is this bowl. And this one was $19.99. I thought that that was super, super reasonable for how big this is. And this one does have a drain hole in it. So this would be a great option for like an outdoor seating area. If you have like a coffee table or a dining table outside, you could do um, some succulents in this. You can, you can always do it for a, like a regular coffee table too. Um, you could do succulents. I'm planning to just put some green moss in it because I feel like those types of arrangements are always so beautiful. They're timeless. They just kind of flow well all throughout the seasons, but they're always really, really pricey. And after I went to Home Goods, I didn't grab these and I made, I made that mistake. I didn't grab them. I went to Target and just ran my errands and stuff. And when I was in Target, I came across a moss arrangement that was maybe this big and it was $20. And I said, okay, 
I know I can go get that planter for 20 and I can go get some moss from Hobby Lobby and that's gonna be affordable. And it's a huge, huge statement piece that is timeless as well and looks gorgeous. So I did immediately go back to Home Goods and pick up this and pick up the other one. So I'm really happy with them. I think that it was so worth driving back and dealing with the traffic. <laughs> but that is actually going to wrap up my video today. I only picked up a couple things. I'm trying to be more intentional in what I'm picking up that it will work ideally all year round and that it is not something that is boxed in seasonally color wise. I'm trying to go for more neutral palette, but also getting lots of texture in my spaces as always. Um, so I just, I like to keep things simple enough. Let's be real. My arrangements are always very full as are my pillows, but that's just how I like it here. So I'm trying to be more intentional when it comes to this kind of stuff. We are in the process of refinishing the inside and outside of our screened in porch. So we're busy sanding and staining and doing all the things to get the outside looking nice before we get outside and are able to actually enjoy it. And honestly, let's be real. Summertime in North Carolina is brutal. You do not want to be sitting outside sanding for hours and hours when it's 90 degrees out. So I will any day of the week rather be outside in a sweatshirt and not sweat. So <laughs> I digress, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely be sure to leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite thing that I shared in the shop with me portion? And what do you think of these gorgeous planters that I picked up? I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Thank you as always for your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.